All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Out here, again, uh, 24 by 32. You can see a 612, a little bit higher pitch. But what I want to talk to you about in this video is uh, the use of a mono truss versus doing a conventional rafter. You can see how we're doing this wraparound porch right here. See how that's set up there, that wraparound porch? And you see Alex on the backside, he's tacking up the soffit. But why would you use a mono versus a rafter? And uh, the mono, they're gonna be doing it here a little bit later today, but you can see the setup here. So let's take a look here. Now, when you do a mono truss, for example, you see the mono trusses are set right here. Now the mono trusses versus doing a rafter, the rafter just has a top cord. So for example, you look at these mono trusses right here. I believe these are eight feet. But you know, if you do a rafter, you see that top cord right there, you're not gonna be able to put a ceiling underneath that. So if you've seen buildings before with just rafters installed, there's no way that you can attach a ceiling underneath the building. And we've talked about this in previous videos though, whether it be white, gray, there's a ton of uh, ladder panel ceilings that you can put under there. So that's the difference between doing a mono truss. This is called a half truss or a mono truss. And we make that, that's one of the trusses that we make at our facility. So right there you see there, a mono truss. But you can see the setup there on the buildings there. Purling, spacing, and this might be something, this is pretty, I don't know if it's basic, but you see persons are, the purlins are flat, they're not on edge. Now, if your truss spacing is greater than four feet, you can see the truss spacing up there is, is four foot truss spacing, but if it's greater than that, you're gonna see these, these purlins, they have to be on edge. Now, as a builder, walking on a purlin on edge, especially a building that's higher, well, any, any I mean, this is fairly high, fall for that obviously there could be some issues so but we, that's why we put our trusses four foot on center we think it connects the building we don't think we know it connects the building a little bit better and uh, so that kind of gives you an idea there and I'll show you around here house wrap again nominal cost but really it's functional functional value it keeps the building tight keeps the elements the, the rain all that stuff out of the building you can see what Alex is doing right there, tap, tapping up the, uh, the soffit. So, so, there you go here, 24 by 32 with a 612 pitch with a wraparound porch. And that's the difference between using a rafter and a mono truss. So keep following the journey. By the way, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment, and we'd love to hear your feedback. And until the next one, keep it locked loaded right here at Lumber since 1925.